Hello and welcome back to Tech with AGR and you join me in the third video of the series where I'm upgrading my 5.1 Mac Pro. In the first video I installed this Samsung 860 EVO SSD. In the second video I installed this Sapphire Pulse RX580 8GB. And in this video I'm going to be installing these dual X5690 CPUs. So without further ado, let's begin. Now the Mac Pro has been powered off and the front panel has been removed, the first stage to replacing those old CPUs is to take out the CPU tray itself. To do that, you have to push on these two cat on these two little latches right here. And then pull the tray out. Just like that. And there is the CPU tray that has the dual X5620s. So here is the CPU tray from my 5.1 Mac Pro. And as you can see we have the two heat sinks here which have one of the X5620s and the other. As well as the main part of the logic board itself which has the 32 gigs of RAM. To actually gain access to the old X5620s underneath the heatsinks, you have to undo these four hex screws on each heatsink, which I'll do now. And there we have it, I've successfully, I've successfully removed the first of the heat sinks. The second one is still to come off, but judging by this first one, the thermal paste application hasn't been done for years. It's very crusty, it's very thin, I doubt it was doing very much at all. So now I'm just going to give this heat sink a quick clean, remove all the old thermal paste, clean up the old CPU and remove it, and install that new X5690. And now, on to installing the new X5690. Simply remove the old CPU. I'm going to insert the new, the first of the new X5690s. The first of the X5690s is installed. Now let me just do a quick thermal paste application, fit the heat sink back and we'll work on the second one. And there we have it, I've successfully installed one of the X5690s under this heatsink here. Now, I'm going to finish the job by doing the second one here. Let's begin.
So after switching out those CPUs, it's time for the first power-up of the Mac Pro. Fingers crossed. And there we have it, the Mac Pro appears to be working. Now let me just sign in and let's see if those dual X5690s are registered. And there we go, check out the specs of this Mac now. We have a mid-2010 5.1 Mac Pro with 32 gigs of RAM, an AMD RX 580 8GB, and two Intel Xeon X5690s. That is fantastic. So now you've seen me upgrade my 5.1 Mac Pro from dual Intel X5620s to dual Intel X5690s. Let me quickly tell you why I chose that processor and why I feel like it was the right choice for my Mac Pro. The predominant reason for me choosing those X5690 CPUs was really because they were the most powerful CPUs available for the Mac Pro at the time and they still are the most powerful that are compatible with the Mac Pro's logic board. So I thought, since I was already building one of the more powerful Mac Pros out there, I thought why not go for the top-notch CPU? So I did, and I bought dual X5690s, and in this video I installed them into my Mac Pro. And now, before I round out this video, I just thought I should leave you with a quick real-time statistic of how the new CPU stacks up to the old CPU. And for that, I've arranged a quick Geekbench test, which I'll show you now. And as you just saw, what a staggering difference that new CPU makes. It's more powerful, it's got more cores, it's got more threads, and as a result it just annihilates that old X5620. So then, if you liked what you saw, consider subscribing, liking and hitting that bell. It's completely free and would be massively appreciated. And if you want to check out the full playlist of this Mac Pro build, there'll be a link in the description below. And thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.